Hello guys and welcome back. This is our third tutorial of home automation series and part 7 of Jarvis. In this video we are going to do the home automation and the coding part of Arduino and Jarvis. In the previous part of home automation means hash 2 we have done the circuit designing and the circuit building of Arduino. So in this video we are going to do the coding of Jarvis and Arduino. So let's get started without any further delay. So let's start. Okay, so we are on our computer screen. So here is my ID. So this is our program javis.py. Okay. So okay, so first let me take you down. So here it is, see the home automation part and here it ends. So just ignore this, I have just commented it out so that it will not make any error to you. Uh, and this is the code, main code. So I have said you in Jarvis previous video also that we have defined a variable which is query means the query is uh, input which is uh, taken from the mic. Okay. So here I have given elif light on in query or bulb on in query or lights on in query then it will perform the on function which is uh, mentioned up i will show you now and elif light off in query and then simply off function which we have defined up so first of all uh, we have seen this then now one more important thing if i will go up so you can see here import serial so this is a module package module only which helps us to communicate with python which helps us to communicate with python so here in terminal i will create new terminal here you can see here is a terminal so to install it i will just simply type here pip ins tall pi serial okay so the module name is pi serial so i'll just uh, write and hit enter okay so you can see here requirement already satisfied so here it is installed already okay so it's i have installed it already so it's swing if you were we not installing so it will show okay so we have also imported here uh, it import serial okay and then here is the on on function so you can see function for home automation so you can see here uh, we have uh, declared a variable here so here is serial com a variable you can see serial dot serial and here is the com 3 in your case it can be any com means the com from which your Arduino is connected whether it's uh, uno mega nano doesn't matters so from which your Arduino is connected okay and here is the bread rate which is uh, 9600 so you can see it and serial com dot timeout means its timeout is one second we have given so whenever we will see that Jarvis light on or anything so then it will uh, may, uh, means run this pro program this program so here you can see it's written speak are you sure so it will speak are you sure and here is i variable i is we have given take command dot strip okay so it will make it in a strip method take command uh, we only need to give yes okay so if i go to arduino id means here is the arduino code if i go there i'll show you so it's starting okay so here you can see we have defined a variable also here string bytes okay string bytes is a variable over here and here we have given serial dot begin 9600 broad rate as we have given here also here we have given the broad rate 9600 and in the off function also we have given the broad rate okay so here in this condition what we have given that if in byte means this the python will send the input which will be our voice input so the voice input given by us will the python will send it to c plus plus okay 
here it is in byte is equal to serial dot read string until okay so first of all here and means whatever the python sends so it ends with slash n okay whenever it ends means the c++ will read till slash n only then it will stop okay then here is if in bytes is equal to is equal to yes then it will make digital write 8 high and serial here in the serial monitor it will print lights on okay means 8 number pane i have already seen you in the part one of this home automation that a pin a pin 8 is for the relay module signal pin okay and we have connected the bulb also through it and here the comes it will make high and here in byte off comes in query then it will digital write 8 low okay that's simple if anything else come then it will serial dot write invalid input here it will be invalid input if a wrong input comes okay so that's easy so uh, to make you understand i have also opened the Arduino code also so now here so as you can see here i have given yes already means the voice our voice in byte by python will come yes so here i have also given yes if i i have declared a variable named i is equal to equal to yes means the take command is yes then serial com dot write i dot in code okay so here you can see in code function i have used which is inbuilt in the serial library so in the serial comments it will write in the Arduino uno in code means we need to give in to the Arduino so we have given in code okay so we will give here a bit uh, delay so i have given time dot slip 0.5 second because the Arduino will take some time to make the bulbs on okay so then it will speak light is on okay and else means anything else comes in the query of or anything so it will print speak simply okay as you wish and it will pass okay means it will continue the uh, further one if i will give break then it will just the jarvis will turn it and stop so we want to make the uh, jarvis running okay so that's it we have done everything now let's come to off function okay so i also want to give you a very important thing also that here is if i is equal to equal to yes okay why why have i used your if else statement it could be also running without if else statement but here is a reason because if i give any input to jarvis like yes and it take yid anything like that only you can understand what i'm trying to say so it takes anything else so what happened the uh, the signal to Arduino goes yet but here we have given if we only yes comes in query right if only yes comes in query so uh, uh, the Arduino sense that this is an invalid input so here I have given invalid input so that what Jarvis does it sends an error and terminate which is not good so I have given this if else statement if anything else comes in query then it will speak this and pass which is better than giving an error so now let's come to uh, the off function so here also everything is same just the difference is i have not given the if else statement okay so here if take commands come off then it will just simply uh, it will type off in the serial means in the order you know and then it will make the lights off that's easy right so that much was the Arduino code and the Jarvis code if you want more detail then you can visit my website abicoderweb.com slash Jarvis AI and you will get everything about Jarvis and yes I recommend you that if you have not seen my Jarvis from part 1 then please see it I have given step by step everything that how you can build this Jarvis such a huge code right so let's see it's 369 pages it's really long right so uh, if you want to know that how to create it so you can visit uh, my playlist section and you can check it out my Jarvis AI video that will be very easy for you to create very amazing assistant okay so now let's make the Jarvis run okay so here is our Jarvis and you can also see um, the bulb also so here is the bulb okay 
so I will just run my Jarvis so here the toast has to activate come. me say wake up Jarvis wake up Jarvis good afternoon sir it's 15 hours 19 minutes and 55 seconds I am Jarvis please tell me how may I help you okay so now we will we will make it uh, the bulb on by then Jarvis okay so we will click on okay bulb on are you sure yes light is on see so you can see it said that light is on and it has made the light on okay so now now let me get the light off light turned off okay so i have said the light off so it uh, catch it and given light turned off so you can see how it worked very perfectly it worked and you can see how python is also compiling with c++ so that's also very great with Arduino it is uh, compiling also okay so, so you have seen the demo of the Java how it worked it uh, really performed very well and uh, one more thing that if you uh, we are combining Arduino and Java so you also need to know that how the relay works and here is a risk of AC and DC as Arduino and relay works on DC and the bulb works on AC bulb fan and anything so I recommend you to see my uh, relay module video in which I have explained you um, how the relay module works very well so that would be very helpful for you and make sure to do some safety measures so that it will not injure you as you are using AC and DC okay so that's it for today's video guys hope you like this video and please subscribe and like to my channel and if you want more detail you can visit my website abicoderweb.com so thank you see you in the next video bye bye hope you like this series